Hello friend, hope you are doing well. Today I have uh, come with some uh, petonia varieties. Uh, like uh, today I am here with uh, white color petonia which is very vibrant in color and very big also as you can see the flower size. So last time in my last video I have shown you my uh, petonia like multicolor petonias and also I have told you about this propagation and care. Today I am here to give you a few tips how to get a bigger and very vibrant color uh, petonia. Number one tip I want to share. Whenever you are uh, uh, say for my this plant I have grown it from settling. So if you are getting your plants from nursery then just keep in mind always try to uh, get a small size uh, plant. If it is a 3 or 4 inch uh, plant you have to start pinching. We sometimes feel bad you know to pinch. Uh, the plant when it's a give us flower or very small and tiny but uh, believe me if you pinch it when it's uh, started growing if uh, the buds are there that also you can pinch it out then you'll get a bushy uh, plant and also you'll get lots of flower in bigger size and also a vibrant color here you can see this i'll pinch it off so that i'll give a bushy plant and here you can see this um, heads I just uh, pinch it off and I have um, uh, received this kind of uh, the flower is quite bushy because when it was uh, 4 to 5 inch uh, tall then I pinched off its heads. See here also I will pinch this and I will get more branches from this main uh, branch. Then the next tip I want to give regarding is soil regarding adding of fertilizer. For my this plant, I have added tea leaves. Like um, I soak the tea leaves for overnight, then I dried it out, and then I make powder, and then I mix it with either soil or uh, sand. For few pots, I mix it uh, with uh, soil, and for few pots, I mix it with uh, sand. So, uh, uh, so why I have done? I I I'm, I totally believe in. Uh, tea leaves because it will give you the vibrant color of the flowers and it's very easy if you want to buy um, uh, some fertilizer from the market then the bone mill is the best one you can get the bone mill to get a very good quality of flower and the third um, tips i want to give you the sunlight what i have seen petonia they do not like sun basically like um, in the, the countries like Europe or US, you know where the snowfall is there, there you have to keep your petonia in a bright or dry areas. But the countries like India, you can uh, grow this plant throughout the year, but you have to keep the plant uh, in a uh, semi shade or uh, you know inside also even you can uh, keep this plant. They love shade, they do not like uh, sun. So if you, uh, you can see I am making this video and you can see look at the flowers they are dropping and you know they fall sick like this. So take care of the sunlight and always remember never ever keep the, your pitona even uh, for in 2 hours direct under the sunlight. They like uh, shade always. And regarding my third trip like regarding its pot size is always better if you start with a small pot. And after the first season of flowering, you should uh, report it to a next size of pot so that it will give you lots of flowers. So thank you for uh, watching friend and please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much friend. Bye bye.